Hey everybody, Joy here. I'm just going to do a normal little video today <laughs> because I don't know how much time I'm going to have the rest of this week because I'm busy, busy, busy getting ready for my trip. But I had to show you what I got done yesterday. You remember that ugly, ugly blouse with the lace. I haven't sewn the side together. You can see how I ripped it open on the side and pulled the lace out. And then I unstitched it going across here. Then I took this really, really smelly stuff. Really smelly stuff. <laughs> like, it's like Doof Off, only it's called H300 or something. It's for sewing. And so I sprayed it, sprayed it, sprayed it, sprayed it all over that steam -a seam and rubbed it with the brush. Oh, my whole laundry room smelled to high heavens. In fact, Ooh, I think it's gone now. Oh my goodness. When I first took this out of the dryer, it smelled really bad. So I don't know how much you can see the steam is seam striped still. But I think just rubbing it and using some scotch tape. So this is going to be my new, new D, D top. And this is all the lace it's going to have on it, folks. How's <laughs> that other thing? was just horrible. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it on the mannequin and I couldn't stand it on me. So, this is fixed. Very wearable. Love the print and I'm going to take it to the uh, trip in Arkansas. So let me get rid of that. Then, you remember, I made a top to go with the pants because I, I was making the pants and I had a little left so I finished this top with the invisible zip and I shortened this four inches. Shortened it four inches and probably took six inches out of the fullness of it. Took it in, took it in, took it in. <laughs> so now, the blue pants are downstairs, but just picture it with the blue pants. And so I have two tops to go with my blue pants. So I'm real excited. I don't know what it is about, you know, you've got closets all over the house full of clothes, more than you'll ever wear. But when you're going to take a trip or go someplace new, you want some new clothes. <laughs> At least I do. Let me put these up. And then you remember my dress that was going to be a nightgown, but now it's a dress. Oh, what a brilliant, brilliant idea this was. You know, I told you how I wanted to wear that nightgown every single night. Never take it off. It was so comfortable. So now that it's a dress, I can wear it in the daytime and go places with it. Remember the elastic right here? I did the elastic by making a casing. I simply cut a little rectangle out of this fabric that does not ravel. I sewed it inside to the garment. Then I put the elastic through it. And I left extra elastic in case somehow I get even bigger than I already am and I need to let it out. But I think it's got plenty of room in it. So, what do you think? A dress instead of a nightgown. And I'm telling you, I know you all have issues with your hands, but I have issues with your hands more than y'all do. But I love whatever this stuff is. Polyester spandex, it's like double brushed. It is so soft. And this is washed. This has been washed two times and it did not fade at all. So, just telling you. If you want to have a sewing store at all, I mean, they still have seam rippers and rotary blades and thread and where, where are we going to find those things if, we, if the store goes out of business? I don't know why they don't let Michaels do the crafts and Joann's come back and be like a Hancock's with just all fabric. I think they would do so much better. Make more money, pay your employees, train your employees. <laughs> And let's have a real fabric store. That's what I vote for. What do y'all think? Okay, I've been watching this. What do y'all think, lady? Um, isn't it funny how you'll watch people on YouTube and um, then you'll start saying the things that they say. And at the end of everything she shows, she does um, hacks. She goes to Dollar Tree and she buys stuff at Dollar Tree and then she brings it home and then she makes it look like something real expensive that you could buy for you know, she'll, she'll spend $30 and make something that looks like the $500 item from... What's that store she always copies? I never shopped there. We don't have one of them here. <laughs> I've never seen one in Texas or Oklahoma. 
but it's a real popular store and I can't think of what it's called. If I think of it, I'll put it here or here or add text or something. But she sees things there that she wants to have, but she doesn't want to spend 500 or 1400 or 2000 So she just makes it herself. And let me see, her, her channel is called something about nines. Design to the nines or just put hacks. Hacks and nines or something. I don't know her. I watch her sometimes, not all the times. Um, but she's a real nice lady, and uh, she does lots of hacks. There's several women that I watch. There's another lady, the real pretty blonde lady. I don't know what her name is. But um, she shows how to do things for very cheap that cost a ton of money somewhere else. So y'all just look up hacks on, on YouTube. And if you ever watch one, then they'll just automatically send you hack videos forevermore. <laughs> You know how that works. <laughs> so tomorrow, I'm going to make uh, another top to go with a skirt. You want to see it? Hold on. I've been going through my closet because, you know, I'm taking things out and saying, I'm going to take that on my trip. I'm going to take that on my trip. I need those shoes. I need those jeans. You know how you do. And so I found this skirt that I made. And the waistband is just gigantic on it. But that's all right. It's comfortable. <laughs> So I made this some time back. Oh wait, that's not how it goes. Side seams on the side. I need to put a ribbon in whatever is the back of this because I sure can't tell now because it doesn't have a crotch. But isn't this pretty? So I saw this and I thought, well, I have this dress and I thought maybe I should wear a skirt because you know they're really comfortable. But I didn't have a blouse to go with it. So I came upstairs with my skirt Went through my stash, and I found this to make a blouse to go with. So I don't know if the color's going to show for you, but it matches absolutely perfect. So today I'll cut out a top to go with this. I mean, things only three days long. I've got enough clothes to last for three weeks. <laughs> you know, you never wear what you think you're going to wear. Depends on the weather. Totally depends on the weather. But, yeah. This is fully lined, did you see? I mean, I was so surprised when I found this. I thought, wow, that's a nice skirt. Did I make that? <laughs> Look how it has a slip in it. Isn't that nice? Awesome. Attached at the top. It has a, uh, a rolled hem. A rolled hem all around the bottom of it. Very nice. Very nice. And it just rests on my belly button waist. I need to, I'm going to go over there and serge this. I guess I forgot. See this part here? I'm going to serge it. I should have serged it already, but I guess I forgot. So, and the elastic, the way I put the elastic in, the elastic can just go around and around in here. And it's not sewn in. See, here's the hole. There's the hole I put the elastic in. So I can pull, let's just do it. I can pull the elastic out. I've got to make this a little bit tighter. See how I can pull the elastic out the hole? And so I can just make it tighter in the waist. See? How nice is that? I love it. Absolutely love that I can make my own clothes. So that's how about that. Another outfit. So I've got the crazy, formerly lacy apron top fixed. Other than that, it'll be blue jeans and tennis shoes and t-shirts if it's ugly weather. But you do, they feed you lunch and dinner every day. In fact, I think they even feed you breakfast if you go to the place where they have the breakfast. I'll have to get the little flyer out and check it again. But whatever, the people that we made friends with, Bruce and Beth, um, that bought our last coach, the Ventana LE, Remember I called her Tana Lee? They bought Tana Lee and they absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. And um, they are going to be there. And they are going to park right next to us. So we're going to know somebody. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to know somebody. Won't that be awesome? <laughs> oh, I got my hat. Remember we're going to do the Kentucky Derby. And Jerry won't let me ride in on the stick horse. So let me show you my hat. You remember, this is the dress that I made. And so I ordered three of these fascinator things. The first two, one of them was falling apart. 
The second one was way too big, twice as big as this. And so this was the third one. So this is the one I'm going to wear on my head. How cute is that? <laughs> I'll probably have to put a bunch of bobby pins, but I decided that this little headband thing works better than the clip. So definitely going to wear the headband. So I am just excited. Pray for good weather. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Don't you just love the little dots? It has little black, I don't know if they're blue or black, but it looks like black dots. I just think that is so super cute. I'm going to fix some lunch, then I'm going to come back up here, then I'm going to sew those five stars together with their sashings, and then I will be ready for the April. It'll probably be another row. I think it's kind of long rows that we're making. So maybe trees. I can do trees. I like trees. But I'm not sure. So I'm going to put those five stars together. That will be finished. I'm going to make this blouse. So that's my afternoon plan. But I also have to get shine done. We just finished shine. We're on Proverbs 17. And we just finished shine downstairs at the kitchen table. And so I've got to get it downloaded onto my computer. Then edited. Then uploaded to YouTube. So I better go. Good afternoon. I brought you downstairs because I have this big box. I was going to carry this upstairs, but no, no. It is way too heavy. So, I have a sharp object in my hands. <laughs> Hold your breath while I open this box. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh. I just used my thumb that has the cut on it. Ugh. They're healed pretty good, I'll show you. But things still hurt. Oh boy. Oh boy. This ticks me off. I just cut through the tape to open this and the fabric is right under where the tape was. I probably just sliced it open real good. Oh, I hope not. Yes, this was... Now this is me. People say, how do you keep your house so clean? This is how I do it. I'm going to put this down. But instead of putting it down here, I'm going to walk in the laundry room and put it away in the drawer. I'll be right back. A place for everything and everything in its place. Yeah, I learned that somewhere. All right, so I had a weak day one day. <laughs> and I accidentally made Fabric Mark Fabrics live again in my email. I had been having it go to spam for many, many months, which was a good thing. <laughs> But I decided, oh, I saw my friend um, Eileen, and Eileen told me that she loves Shally. And we made a Shally top for her while we were at her house in Texas, and um, I really liked it. And so they had Shally 60% off or something. And so when I'm ordering from Fabric Mart, I'll just think, oh, I like that, add to cart, I like that, add to cart, I like that, add to cart. And then I'll go back in and I'll take this out of my cart and that out of my cart because I found something I like better. Well, also, you know, I hadn't been doing it for a while. I'm supposed to go in and change all the ones because <laughs> I don't want to order just one yard. I always order at least two. Oh, so I went ahead and totaled it out and paid for it. And I think all the shallies I just got one yard of. So I am hoping they are wide enough. I can at least get a top with short sleeves out of it or something. So I'm going to tell you what it is. This is cotton lycra floral print jersey knit. And I did get two yards of it. Although it doesn't feel like it. You know me and flowers. If it's got flowers, it's got me. Woo, Hattie. Mm, navy blue. Navy blue, Sue. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, I love Fabric Mark fabrics. <laughs> that is just gorgeous. So I'm going to save the papers. Put that back on there. Oh, here's my blue pants. I ironed them and I brought them downstairs and they weren't totally dry because I took them out of the dryer still damp. Then I pressed them and they were still a little damp. So I hung them on this chair to dry. So this is my new blue pants out of the blue linen. It goes with that blue top. Oh, and can I tell you all about the cuts? Yes, they're much better. Here's my fingers today. Now I don't have much light in here, so I hope you can see. Much, 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 much better. And unless I just poke, poke them with something hard, they don't hurt me. 
But almost all of you said, hey, Dingling, why didn't you use your scanning code? <laughs> I'm like, well, duh. <laughs> I knew I had to cut those circles. And I wasn't in the room where the scan and cut was. I was in my other sewing room. And I was in there, and I just thought, oh, didn't I buy some tool to cut circles with sometime in my life? And so my mind went directly to that. And I never even thought about the scan and cut. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Wait till you're almost 73. Okay, here is a shally, and there's just hardly any. Oh, my gosh, what can I make out of this? A scarf? Oh, I'm so sad. So this is a chalet. I could get a sleeveless top out of that. A sleeveless top with maybe a cap sleeve. But that's pretty. It's real pretty. I don't think you can see through it. I mean, like if I was wearing it. Yeah, I think it's good. So this is just a chalet, and it has a label. One yard. I can't even believe it. You know, I could go back and see if they still have it, but it's probably not going to be on sale today. Rayon Crinkle Shally. Cream 100%. Let me hold it close to the camera so you can see what the crinkle looks like. Does the crinkle show up? Probably not. This is a fun one. It's a Shally. So this one I did order two yards. Who knows what I did? Who knows? Cherry Red Ivory Rayon Floral Print Shally. Two yards. Six bucks a yard. That is just free these days. And you know why I had to get this one, don't you? It has roses. Roses. I think it's roses. Maybe it's a different flower, but it looks like a rose to me. Oh, that is so pretty. And I do like this shally. I can see why um, Viv and uh, Eileen like it. Magenta Peach, Pink Pale, Mint Multi, Rayon Lycra, Painterly Floral, Print Jersey. Gentle wash. What's this look like? What do you look like, I wonder? Oh, <gasps> flowers. Mm. I must have needed some flowers that day. Jerry really should bring me some of those flowers home from Walmart once in a while. <laughs> We'd save a lot of money. It's kind of a, a green, kind of a real soft green. It's pretty. Now, two yards of this you could make three or four tops with. This is another chalet, and I got two yards this time. So evidently I did order two yards of some of them. Evidently. Ah, more flowers and more pretty. Look at all the shally I have, Eileen. Hey, give that cute little, let me see if I can remember their names, Harperette and Hank Williams. You give those babies a hug from Aunt Joy. Ah, so cute. Okay, are you some more shally? Everything's flowers. No, this is uh, polyester lycra knit, two yards. More flowers. Oh my goodness, this is upside down flowers. Let's put you right side up. Now, there's no sense me telling you, you know, what the numbers are and everything. If you think you want some of this, go there, look up knits, and just, they have big square pictures of them. And just look up knits and go down through. And if you see a picture that you like, hey, and it's on sale, hey, hey, hey. I do need a solid black knit top. Let me see. This doesn't, this is only one yard. <laughs> this one's a cotton jersey knit and I only got one yard. What was that about? I think I actually bought the fabric of the day. Yeah, this will make a nice knit top. Very nice. All right, here's a whole one yard of a chalet with bugs. But I think it's kind of cute and kind of blue. I kind of like it. You know, I think one yard could make a nice blouse. I really do. Because this is pretty wide. Yeah. I like that. You want me to hold it close and still? 
Now see, if you go there and look, you'll see this immediately. It'll pop right up. And they had this in different color bugs, too. I remember that. See, what happens is when you don't order for a while, and then they do this to me. If you order $50, you get $5 off. If you order $75, you get $10 off. And if you order $100, you get $15 off or something like that. So they get me every time with that stuff. I am a major sucker. And then I'll think, you know, that'll pay for the freight. Look at these. Do I like roses or what? Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Black roses. Oh, it might not be roses. But flowers, they look like roses or peonies. Why don't you read the label, Joy? Well, okay. <laughs> why don't I use the scatting cut to cut circles? Who knows why I do these things? <laughs> oh, so pretty. I think this one, oh, there it is. It's on the back. Here we go. This is a polyester lycra floral print. ITY. Look up ITY knits. Choose the case. Choose the knits, and then you can choose ITY knits. This is a New York designer, and it's $6 a yard. And it's eggshell polyester print. It doesn't say what kind of flowers they are. But hey, I think they're pretty flowers. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We're going to sign up for a bunch of RV trips so I can wear all of these things I make. <laughs> One yard of a chalet. This is a crinkle. I don't know if that's the right zone. Here's the right side. So that's just a ditzy print. Super cute. Super cute. Super cute. Look under chalet. Chalet. C-H-A-L-L-I-S. They should call it chalice because that's how it's spelled. Here's another one yard of chalet. <laughs> Look at all the money I saved by ordering wrong. Oh, blue, isn't that pretty? Ooh, yes. Oh, Eileen, when you come, you can have one of my chalets or two or however many you want. <laughs> I don't know if we can do one yard, but we can sure try. Okay, this is a stripe, and it's a knit, and there's two and a half yards of it because I thought this would be a fun stripe to do the different angles of the stripes, you know, on the different garments. And it is just probably an ITY. It is a ITY knit, $6. They all say gentle wash. Everything in my house gets the same wash. That's a pretty stripe, don't you think? Now I'll tell you the best thing about fabric mark fabrics, plural. Make sure you put in plural fabrics. Fabricmarkfabrics.com. The best thing about them is their pictures. They don't show you just one little itty bitty picture that you can't see anything from, and you can't tell if the flower is as big as Texas or as big as a gnat's tail. You can't tell. Fabricmarkfabrics.com have squares, and they have four or five of them. But if you'll scroll down, scroll down the pictures, more will come up. You click on the arrow or something, and the last picture on the bottom is always the fabric draped over a stool like this. See? Draped over a stool. And when it's draped over the stool, you can tell how big the print is. It's amazing. I'm not sure how much of that you can see on my globe, but you get the idea. So I really love that. And their prices just can't be beat. And it's not cheap fabric. These are beautiful. They're way nicer than Joanne's carries. <laughs> and they're nicer than Hobby Lobby carries. They're like real. Um, from designers and from companies that use them to make garments for the industry and then this company goes and buys up all the leftovers something like that that's not what it's called it's called the black market or something that doesn't sound right <laughs> yes it's the mafia <laughs> oh, it is a beautiful sunny day i need to go outside and walk in the sunshine what is that a uh, song we'll walk in the sunshine Will something every day, 
da 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 then I'll be on my way. I'm on my way, but I'll be back soon. <laughs>